big thing with technology is that you have to first engage with your clients. One of our clients in the showcase said, you need to listen to us. And this kind of platform was a really important place to get not only his views, but others around them sharing similar pain points. So number one is the problem identification, understanding really what we need to solve. Um, our um, view is that we need to solve problems by sourcing the right tech, but also plugging in the right teams. So we've gone on a huge human and machine uh, drive um, to not mitigate the, the human component at all. Uh, humans need to be involved at every stage. Um, I just think that the machines and the robots are going to be doing the boring stuff that we don't need to be doing. So from a, an African perspective, the, what we're finding is the lever for technological advancement, specifically because our business is really focused on underground mining. Um, we thrive in the complexity, but this lever of change is really about connectivity first. We started in the software space, we moved into a, an IoT connected hardware, and then into the connectivity to connect all that um, information back to surface. And we've realized that connectivity is that lever. So from an African perspective, we've engaged with number five POCs on the connectivity side, and that's a across manganese, diamond, gold, platinum, chrome. And those learnings, that know-how, those engagements are setting the scene in the platform for an array of devices and uh, solutions that now are going to be developed for other clients in Africa. And Africa is a unique, a unique uh, place to do business. Um, things take longer. Things uh, are more complex. Um, that we have 11 different languages in the country to, to, to weave our technology fabric through. So it doesn't come quick, but when we're on site and we're able to do so at our speed, we can make quick changes that deliver proper return on investment. You know, I think it's a tough question. Um, and there are lots of facets. And even yesterday at the Joburg and Darbo when we attended as a delegate, the same question was, was pushed to a, a colleague and a client, Alex Finn from Sabania Silwater. And there's some really interesting feedback on that. I think the big part of that answer is around engagement. And that's somehow where we're really bad in the mining space. We don't communicate. The platform that we've created from a connectivity perspective is enabling better communication. And something that from a personal perspective pain point, being underground, you can be left alone from an unsafe perspective, you want to connect our assets, but more importantly, our people. And then again, brings us back to this whole dilemma, but also this opportunity of connecting human and machine. Mining's never going to get away from the human element, but my, my view is that we can get the machines to do the, rep the, the repetitive, boring, unsafe jobs, and we can repurpose skills. We've got a, a fantastic rainbow nation of people that's willing to learn. We need to create jobs. They're just not going to be the jobs that our fathers and grandfathers did. They're going to be doing the jobs that our kids are doing with learning coding in primary school that I never got to do. So this technology is changing everything in the world. Why can't it start changing mining? And fortunately, you have we here to help you along the way to adopt and adapt. And um, the next step's exciting.